This lamb is super tender. The juice is like dropping off. I'm tired of waiting. I'm gonna be vlogging. What am I doing? What the? What, the, what is he doing? Get out of here. What the? It's super expensive because they're handmade. It was a tower of death. Is that what you said, Zach? It's a tower of death. Maybe Bukhara is like a summer con. I don't think this place is dangerous at all. Having a good time and that you have a good memory of Uzbekistan. So this is the like snack car of the train. So the train that we took last time was not as premium as this train. I think it was maybe third class or second class. But this train has actually, oh, there's Francois. <laughs> this train actually has a snack car. So there's ice cream in here that they were serving, there's chips, there's drinks, and like, and yeah, you can just come back here and you can get anything uh, that you want. Also over there, there is a business class and they have all kinds of uh, foods over there as well. So yeah, this is a very premium train. Air just chilling, feeling better. Yeah, much better. Zach's always stuffing his face. This other Zach's always drinking something. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is this? No alcohol. Okay, good. No alcohol. Let's continue the trip and hopefully arrive there safely. Okay, I think this is Bukhara. I'm hoping it is. I didn't see or hear any announcements indicating that this was it's Bukhara. Uh, ah, okay, so yeah, this is Bukhara and. Wow, it's so shiny out here. Oh, it's hot. I'm not complaining, but it's just like, wow. Okay, so there's a train station over there. I think I was gonna like organize a tour here on my own and it was gonna be like $100 a day. So I'm staying here eight days, so it would have been 800 US dollars, but we're traveling on our own, so we're saving so much money. Even though we're probably missing out on a few things, um, this is like a good, like first impressions because I'm definitely, definitely coming back to Uzbekistan. There's so much to see, so much to enjoy, but yo, it's hot. It's like 40 degrees out here. Sheesh. Taxi, taxi. Taxi was it? Okay. So this is everywhere at each train station. You're always going to be bombarded with people trying to taxi you to your destinations, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. Bukhara train station they all look the same but at least they're clean and there's a big water fountain here in the center this doesn't seem as um, congested I guess because it's a smaller city but it's definitely not as congested as uh, Samarkand so I think uh, yeah it would be I guess a slower pace here <laughs> I just have to show you guys a hotel so when we get back I'll do a run through of it because it is freaking amazing. I mean, it's not like the most expensive hotel, but it is a really nice hotel. It smells good, it's clean, and it's big. So we are now walking down this alley. I guess we're looking for dinner because it's dinner time. And then we'll find some sights to see. But I love this little alleyway too. It's very, I guess, like unassuming. So yeah, let's uh, see what we can get or see what we can find here on the main street in Bukhara. Wow, down there, there's some kind of mosque that's really good architecture. These guys are playing some sort of board game. Got all the food options on the street. So one thing about Uzbekistan, you can find a lot of good food here. You don't have to look far for good food and <laughs> wow, good smells coming from every restaurant. The architecture of these hotels just looks so cool. Like seriously, this reminds me so much of being in Egypt, especially like Southern Egypt in Luxor and Aswan. Wow. I think um, maybe Bukhara is like Samarkand. Most of the uh, monuments were built like in the 15th century. But whenever they were built, man, it just looks amazing. And Uzbekistan is like Kazakhstan and that there are parks everywhere. I mean, Seoul has parks, Korea has parks everywhere, but these parks are like, I don't know, it feels so different, just very open and yeah, there's like always a statue around, children are always out playing, so I guess this shows you like the safety level 
here in Uzbekistan. I don't think, I'm not sure, just for me looking, for my opinion, I don't think children are at risk of being like kidnapped or hurt or anything like that. Because you can see children all in the parks, everywhere. I guess so we're gonna come to this Laziz house restaurant in Bukhara. And it's like on a pond, it sits on a pond. What is this guy doing? What the, what the, what is he doing? Get out of here. What the, get out of here. Okay, so, look at this, amazing. Assalamu alaikum. So cool. some of this lamb. Good. It's definitely like... It's like dry. Not, yeah, but it's natural. It's not, there's not a lot of like gamey aftertaste to it. Wow, look at the chickens that got. The thing is monstrous. Sheesh. What are you... Here, take your food. <laughs> I got some lamb. Maybe I'll get a chicken. Chicken is good. You, you like my chicken kebab? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna eat all those onions? Mmm. You want some? Mm. I'm mm. gonna eat them, it's okay. That's why I was gonna, I didn't want them to go away. Oh no, I'll eat them. I like them. That's why I don't waste no food. Sorry, I went mm. off. waste a lot of food. Oh, this lamb is super tender. Wow. The juice is like dropping off. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> mm. Nice beef, never disappoints. This is the main square of Bukhara because there are so many tourists here and there are many like souvenirs things you can buy so yeah this must be the main area of the Kara city so I guess we're walking to another monument where Amir Timur uh, fought or there's something <laughs> hi oh, wow look at this architecture I'm not sure if all of this is 15th century, but it's so nice. This little waterway, so cool. Kids went down into like the little, ah, so it comes down here and there are the big steps right there. Uh -huh. These carpets are probably super expensive because they're handmade hand woven I should say. The least amount of time it takes to make one is like six months, so yeah. <laughs> Look at that door. Wow. It's so hot. I'm imagining people are just sitting here on the side of the street because there's no park here in this area. And there are no like big trees. Oh man, I can imagine how it feels 11 o'clock to one o'clock, man. Take a look at this. So I guess like uh, they have a special police just for tourists. Maybe they can speak English or whatever, but there's no one there. Anyways, I don't think this area is so dangerous that you need police because everyone's kind of like just minding their own business, just walking and looking. But I guess, you know, you should always be on your P's and Q's wherever you go in the world. I don't think this place is dangerous at all. I mean, even if my friends weren't here, I feel safe walking around by myself. Like even these ladies are walking around by themselves. So this is a Muslim country. So I'm imagining the safety here should be high. <laughs> so now we're going into another bazaar. We're on our way to some mausoleum. I just take a look. Wow, okay, so over there is where all the people are. So that's the main place all the way over there. Yo, look at all of these carpets. All these carpets are super nice. Look at this carpet here. Nice jewelry. So there's like never 
a want or a lack of souvenirs. You can always find something here to buy, to take home. So I saw this carpet just over there. This is the real one. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is like thousands and thousands of dollars. We've just arrived at Toki Zagaron and I heard that it was a Tower of Death. Is that what you said, Zach? It's a Tower of Death? Tower of Death. Uh, Genghis Khan came here, he liked the tower. He burned the whole city down, but kept the tower. Okie dokie. So they throw people off the top of it. Wow, that's uh, rather morbid research on Google. And it says that Taki Zagaron is the largest dome covered market here in Bukhara. This market was home for a lot of gold smiths. So I think they said Zagaron was coming from the word Zagara, which means gold smith. So I'll put the information in the uh, in the video. But there's just like so much history here to remember. I didn't come here knowing all of Uzbekistan history. This is the reason why I came, because I wanted to learn and to explore. But yeah, just being here makes me want to know more about this place. So I'm not sure about the Genghis Khan part that I mentioned, but it is true from all of these sites that I've researched that this is the largest trading or maybe it was the largest largest trading dome uh, here or is the largest trading dome here in Bukhara. Wow, this is traditional garb of the warriors and the lady. Traditional hats. Well, here we go. Wow. We just walked around Taki Zagaron. Now we're walking behind it. We're going to go back inside. So this area is actually a bazaar. So it's the largest dome covered bazaar in Bukhara. I guess we're going to see the same things that we saw. So this is one of the like main trading centers, maybe during the Silk Road times. So it's still a large market, but obviously there aren't as many people coming through as caravans were in the 15th through what 17th centuries. So yeah, still a very interesting place. So many people out here just yeah enjoying life. And everyone in this neighborhood like knows everyone. And yeah, it's just super, super cool to see like people just just being people, like no one's trying to be anything that they're not. They're just out here surviving and just <laughs> makes you realize, like, no, it makes me realize. Like this trip has really, this trip has really opened my eyes. Like before, maybe I had, you know, some prejudices or stereotypes, maybe. I always pride myself on not having them. But now that I've seen where East meets West, definitely stereotypes are eliminated completely. It's a nice chest table. End of the market. But wow, look at all of these, these rugs and, or I guess I should say carpets and clothes. Wow. Can you imagine how long it takes for them to make one carpet? Just amazing that there are so many. And this one here in the center is so intricately designed. Uh, knife making store. So this guy over here is like making knives right now. He just finished one actually. Whoa. So these are like all of his products right here. Wow, people are still doing things like the old way, which means it's probably like much more expensive or has more value because it's made with human. The sun goes down. This place is very enjoyable. It's not so hot. Many people are outside. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of the buildings look similar, but I mean, they were constructed in like the 15th century. So what do you expect? <laughs> it's just a marvel that they were able to construct them at all. So yeah, cool. Oh, friends waiting, probably waiting on me. <laughs> Tired of waiting on me vlogging. <laughs> okay, we're done for the day. <laughs> okay guys, this is our last day in Bukhara and we've come to eat at this fancy looking restaurant. Actually, this is only my second meal of the day, so I'm super hungry. Yo, check out these carpets. Man, 
See, I love the architecture here in Uzbekistan. The restaurants, like the hotels, all of them have like this super wonderful, nice vibe. It's just amazing. Thanks. Three is 24? Yes. Oh, okay. Two is 16? Yes. out of this entire trip, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, that I felt safe the entire time. Not at any point fearful of anything going to happen here for safety. Here, I can honestly say that uh, I haven't felt unsafe once, you know? Just comfortable. People keep, people keep to themselves, you know what I mean? They're mm. friendly, you know? They're, they want to help you out if you have a question, you know? Like, Zach and I went to that wrestling academy today. We just popped our heads in. These guys are like, come on in, come on in, come on in. And Zach and I were kind of thinking, oh, maybe they're at, they're at some sort of a play. Maybe they're going to try to ask for money or something. No, man, they just wanted us to come in and watch, watch these, these kids wrestle and, you know, wanted, just wanted to show off their, their spot. And it was, it was really cool. And that was probably, that'll probably stand out as probably one of the highlights of this trip, I would say. Just people being nice and wanting to show off their country and making sure that you're a stranger and that you're having a good time and that you have a good memory of... Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan, Mongolia, whatever it is. It's pretty cool, man. All right, guys, it's like four o'clock in the morning, almost four, getting ready to go to the train station to head back to Tashkent. Just wanted to show you our room really quickly. I never show the room when it's clean, but uh, the rooms in Uzbekistan, where we've been staying in the countryside, uh, the rooms are really big, and all of our rooms have come with three beds, and there's air conditioner, there's television, and the restrooms are really, really nice. And the breakfast here at this hotel, I'll share with you later the name. The breakfast is amazing. I can't believe we're leaving this morning and not having the breakfast here at this hotel. If you come to Bukhara, all of the hotels are gonna be similar, but this room is just really special. Um, just expect to have a really nice stay at any hotel that you get here in Bukhara. You can't go wrong. Okay, very quietly, I wanna show you this. around the hotel. It's the morning time. This is how the rooms look on the outside. Yo. I love the decorations here. So we're going upstairs. And in the morning time, this is where you'll have your breakfast. You'll come in this room. And all of the food will be laid out here on the table for all the people who are staying in your party. All of your food is laid out here on the table in a spread. And this outside, all of the hotel is like a courtyard on the outside. So feel free to walk around the hotel and you can always uh, go downstairs and wash your clothes. So this is the reception of the hotel. There's beer in here you have to pay for, there's wine, there's also free water, which is what I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one of these because we're about to be on the train for some hours. And Zach was playing the piano over here. And yeah, you can come over here and scan your Wi-Fi code right there. The decorations of this hotel is amazing. So, the car is almost here. So let me show you. We're walking up into this little area. And then here, there's like a little pool for the children. And if you look straight up, there's open sky. The doors, so cool. I'm gonna miss this hotel. This is Hotel Ansi. So, cars here. 
Gotta go, Zach's angry. <laughs> Mukara in the morning time, it's four o'clock. No one's out but us. Taxi driver's tired, <laughs> but he's still getting us there. Yo, our taxi driver, our taxi driver was so fast. Rahmat. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, so he got us here. It takes like 25 minutes to get here from the hotel, but he got us here in like 10 minutes. He's super, super quick. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, yeah, we made it here to Bukhara train station in time. And you can see in the distance, the sun is coming up. It's early, but yeah, I'm feeling great. Like I thought I was gonna be in a bad mood because I woke up so early this morning, but I am feeling amazing. Zach is still a little tired, but uh, I think he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Okay, inside of Bukhara train station, it's foreign currency exchange over there. People sitting now waiting. And there's the security over there. So you always have to put your stuff through security. Two securities, you get to see some traditional Uzbek attire from the region. Some things here if you want to purchase. And here is a shop where you can buy stacks and stuff for the train. If you look there, it is 4.50 a.m. We can't really go outside onto the tracks until it's uh, our time uh, to get on the train. So they're checking to make sure over here that you're not jumping on the train uh, or jumping on the tracks before it's your time. This is outside of Bukhara station. So the train is all queued up. It's time to go. They're checking tickets. Assalamu alaikum. Now we're on the train. I think I'm seat number 41. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get some editing done on the train. That's seven hours. So yeah, I should be able to pop out my video before we get to Tashkent, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, well that's the end of our Silk Road trip. We didn't go to Kiva. It's possible that uh, a day trip to Kiva is in the works, even if I have to go there on my own, just to see if it's worth, uh, it's worth checking out. But yeah, that was a great trip. I enjoyed the time uh, with the fellas and I enjoyed seeing so many sites and meeting so many new people. Uzbek people are so friendly to me. Like so many people talk to me and just made me feel very welcomed. I love Uzbekistan. Definitely a country that I will come back to in the future. So yeah, now we're at Toshkent or Tashkent uh, station. And yeah, it's time for Tashkent adventures. So see you guys in the next one. Love you, make sure you stay hydrated. And as always, peace.